you know, the last thing we're talking about before we lost connection was just, you know, obviously I have this relationship with Tio. He made these comments. Um, you know, it depends how you view them. I mean, you know, obviously the popular opinion or the prevailing thing is that he was being racist, but y'all know him better than anybody. What do you think about those comments, Gary? Um, you can take it two ways. You know what I'm saying? You could take it as a uh, uh, some people could misconstrue that as a racial slur. Um, but he could, that could just be just part of his personality as well. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it, it, it's, it's a touchy Philly situation. You know what I'm saying? It's a slippery slope talking about that, you know, especially saying it in the content like that, you know, someone from the other ethnic group, you know, and to be honest with you, Shit, I think they like our cousins anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, for real, for real. I feel like they are our cousins anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what the fuck? You know, but um, I don't know. I don't know. He, he Could it be something secretly behind it? Possibly. You know, but I can't. You know, I can't pinpoint that. All I can know is my interaction with him. Um, and how he, him, as well as his father, conducting himself. It's always been the same. You know, they've always been cool. Got you. Got you. Now, look, again, we always, I appreciate, I, I think sometimes people get it misconstrued when some go viral, right? Like, uh, you know, somebody say something about somebody, it is what it is. But one thing I like to do is ask the question, whatever the response is, let it be what it is, right? So I right. think that was fair insight and your opinion. You know the man a little bit different, so who better to ask? But let me, let me get back to you, Gary, on some stuff that we didn't get to just yet. So... You know, uh, we left off at DMV and what it means to you. But one thing I wanted to talk about, just picking up from there really quick. Um, 31 and 2, last time we saw you was uh, January 2022. Um, you know, obviously you've had soldier, shoulder surgery since then. Just talk to us about where that recovery process is for you. And then how do you see any potential comeback playing out, if any? Well, um, I had the surgery. A lot of fighters don't come back from this shit. Um I have nothing. Uh, I've been working, you know what I'm saying? Well, I've been rehabilitating my shoulder and stuff like that. Oh, damn, somebody calling. You good, though. It's not messing up your connection, though. You're oh, straight. it's not? Nope. You just oh, like, you're ignoring me. You good. I've been, work I've been working it, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff and et cetera. I'm um, still doing, like, my uh, strength training and physical therapy and stuff like that on it. You know, it's not 100%. Um, so I've been just like focus on my little brothers, getting them situated, you know, training them. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much been my my plan so far. Thus far, anyway. Got you. Now, in and around your weight, I just want to lay them out for you and just get your thoughts. So I want I want 35. You got tank, you got Shakur, you got Barinchek, you got um, you know, Loma, right? Former opponent of yours, they holding those belts. At 130, you got Navaret, you got uh, Kakachi, you got Lamont, and you got uh, Conceição. You know, he has a fight this weekend against Oshaki. It could very well be Oshaki again. If you were in a position to fight, if your shoulder was in a position where you can get in the ring, ideally, what's the path back for you? Is it 130? Is it 135? Is it one of those guys particularly? What do you What do you see as the way back? This is just like some fantasy shit, right? Yeah, like, yeah, it's it's fantasy. Up. Yep, because um, obviously you just said right now you're still healing up. You work right, with right, right, brothers. Um, sure. on some fantasy shit to be honest with you, realistically speaking, if I could have came back in the sport, you know, I would like to have come back at one thirty five. Um, one thirty five is where I wanted to, where I would have wanted to land at. Um. The only thing that would make me make a pit stop or anything like that was Lamont Roach getting mad at what I said, and that made me wanna would, would wanna stop at one thirty, just to <laughs> you know what I'm saying. See Lamont Roach, it's just sad. for just because I gave my honest opinion on some shit that you know what I'm saying. I don't know, um, but nah, realistically speaking, one thirty five. I would like I would like a fight with Tank. I would have loved to fight with Tank. Um, 35 is where it was being at. 35, I would want my motherfucking leg back with Lomachenko. I definitely want that one. 
Yeah, so mm-hmm. much. And then wherever the chips lay at that point, whatever the fans want, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fans say they want, that's what would what, what, what happen. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. Well, we'll just have to wait and see because right now, just fantasy, right? So we'll yeah. see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, let me ask you this because uh, one last thing that came out of our last interview was uh, – you know, I had actually some thoughts about that and you shared your thoughts. So I just want to ask, you know, you guys have noted history, right? The question I have for you, first and foremost, is where does, I, I mean, if there's still dislike or any disdain, what, you know, why and where does it stem from? Or you're in a better place now? I don't get this. Don't, see, people get things misconstrued, man. People get your opinion once again. Um I never had this like for for Devin Haney um, or anything like that of the sort. It was never a dislike. I have nothing personal with anyone in a sport. It's any of these fighters that's competing, there's nothing personal with me in any of these fights. Now, they might feel some type of way because of some of the stuff I probably didn't say, you know, uh, towards them like a tank because I say I feel like he's a sucker. He's scared. He pick and choose who he fight. But that doesn't mean that I don't like him as an individual. We have static as an individual outside of the sport. Um, so now nah, it's never a thing of me uh, uh, disliking Devin or having an issue with Devin or anything like anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's far. I think build a little motherfucking extra. You know what I'm saying? I think build a little extra. You know what I'm saying? But it was never a thing of disliking anybody. You know what I'm saying? And whatever they. Uh, arrive at on their behalf that's on them got you got you now that was a fight that was rumored to have been made back in the day but it didn't come to fruition can you talk about why (sighs) it was a whole bunch of bullshit with the contract i remember at that time we was we we was trying to do something but they were bullshitting you know what i'm saying they they was faking with the contract. And then later on in Devin's career, someone else had said that Devin and them was playing with the contract. I forgot who that was. I forgot yeah, who that was. Like, I'll have to look. Man. But nah, that's just like what it was, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Contracts. Shit wasn't adding up, making sense. Got you. Got you. And I won't even ask you if that's a fight that you would still like, because, again, we're not there yet. But, hey, you never know. You never know. I don't know where Devin's fighting going forward, you know, if he's going to stay at 140 or go up. But it would always have been a, an interesting fight. I think Shakur was the one, by the way, that was saying the contract was something. Oh, was okay. Okay. Something Probably so, yeah. All yeah, right. Shout, yeah. Out to, shout out to my guy, BT, with the fact check, helping me out there. I appreciate that. But, yeah, it was Shakur. It was Shakur. All right. Look. I, we've been rocking for an hour just so y'all know this chat is packed there's a lot of people in here sharing it i don't know uh tuan i know i sent you a message direct i appreciate you if we could get tony o back that'd be dope because i'm gonna go to some topics where i wanted to get y'all group opinion if not all good we appreciate his time but um let's get to it let's get to it so let me ask y'all a question and i want both of y'all thoughts what if anything do you think about the rumored because it's rumored i haven't seen anything go up officially we never really saw an official Tank Roach announcement in the way that we would, you know, press conference rollout hasn't happened yet. And now there's rumors where it would potentially uh, not be happening on December 14th. So my question for you is just what's your thoughts about this postponement? Any thoughts around why? Um, I don't have any thoughts on why. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? We're not, you know, we're not privileged to certain information and stuff like that. I'm not sure on why. Um, I heard that it had something to do with the venue. The venue was overbooked or something like that. So maybe that's the case. So I'm not I'm not sure. Uh Twan, any thoughts on it? Do you think it's uh any foreshadowing? Like, you know, is it just a simple venue thing? You think we still gonna get the fight? What you think? Uh no, nah, honestly, I got the same take as as my brother. You know, so a lot of stuff that you probably hear along the, the airways is some alleged allegedly type rumor that's being said, but we won't, we won't really keep up with certain things because we're not privileged to it. But mm-hmm. if it is, I'm pretty sure it, it's going to get known 
on the true reason why eventually, you know, the boxing world is small and information get right. passed through and recycled and then some, you know, so we, we'll get a whiff of it sooner or later. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Look, for Lamont and for Tank, I hope they don't have any problems and we see the fight. Um, Obviously, our perspective is always appreciated. But again, you know, fair insight. So thank you all both. <laughs>